Good morning and welcome to Win the Day. I'm Tanika D'Souza, the 100K Challenge Chick and founder of the 100K Society. The Society is a business, um, <laughs> why am I tongue tied? A business coaching community. And often the themes or the topics that I talk about here on Win the Day are inspired by conversations that I actually just coached this group through. So yesterday was our um, accountability session. We were talking um, last evening. And one of the things that came up was a, a few questions about dealing with your social media pages and how you're going to be consistent in your brand. So here's the thing. The clients that I have, we talk about this kind of stuff. We're looking at things. But what I realized is as they start to build, as they start to promote, as they start to engage more with their clientele, there was something really missing that uh, that didn't allow all of this to tie together. So that's why I wrote the, um, the title for today as the one crucial thing that most people lack in their social media. And the reason why it's so crucial is because it's ultimately causing you to have really unclear messaging. And also it's undermining your brand, right? You do a lot for people to recognize who you are, what you stand for, what services you offer, all of those different things. But then here it is, you're not even being consistent in a way that counts, right? So most of us are told, hey, be consistent on social media. So we assume that to mean post every day or do lives or talk to your audience or engage with people. And those are absolutely true. But here's the one thing that you're missing that ties all this together, right? The entire reason that you're engaging with someone on Facebook in a group uh, for them to come to your profile, you're talking to them in the DMs. The entire reason is for them to build a relationship with you, for them to get to know you, like you, and then trust you enough to use your business, use your products, and use your services, right? So the thing that happens is as they're building that, they want to learn more about you on their own. So what do they do? Or well, I should ask, what do you do, right? When you are talking to someone and you have interesting conversation with them, and I'm going to say interesting because it could be good or bad, right? What do we do first? What do you do next, I should say? You're having the conversation. It's leading somewhere, all of that. You click on the person's profile. You want to know more about what they stand for, even just basic things that makes them a little more human to you. Where are they from? You know, different things. How can you relate to them? You go to the profile. And this is the one crucial thing that you guys are neglecting. So for my own clients that have been in my programs, we talk about their services, everything else. Um, at least two people this week posted things and they said link in bio. So I clicked to go to the link to realize their Facebook profile page is a mess. Like they told me, Five years. So one, let me let you know that these people are growing their businesses on Facebook, right? So I assume this is the same for you. This message is for those of you who want to grow your brand exposure, build your business on Facebook or whatever social media platform you're using. So you go to their Facebook page. They told you the link was in the bio. If you're on Facebook, you actually can include a link in a post, right? But not the same on Instagram. So they told me, link was in the bio. I go to the bio. I'm learning about five different jobs they had, all the three or four different schools they've attended. You know, so I get like the middle school, the high school, the second high school, the college, the grad school. And then they tell me that they're married and all this stuff. So I have to get through all of that before I see any links. Now, I'm their business coach, so I'm going to go through all the things, make notes, send it to them like, this is a mess, delete this stuff, 
Because if I were your potential client or someone building a relationship with you, I would have stopped long ago. So the crucial thing is cleaning up your profile, specifically that about section. Oh my gosh, nobody needs to know that much about you. They don't care, actually. They want to know about your business. They want to know who you are as a business person that they are looking to build a relationship with. They don't care about the 10 schools you went to. If it comes up that you guys are from the same area, then you can build relationship by sharing that with them in conversation. Everybody who comes to your page does not need to know everything about every job you've ever had, what role you had in that job. Some people even had um, that they were at the job, but then they put in a different um, list because they had a different title, like they got a promotion. Well, just leave the last promotion up, take all the other stuff down. So what I want you to understand is that the crucial thing that's missing is once you build, like when you're being consistent as you're being told, on social media and people click back to your profile, you need to clean it up. So I'm going to tell you what I did on mine. I'm going to be looking at my phone. I was going to do a screen share. Um, let's see. Yeah, I did not set that up. So I'm not going to do it right this second. Um, but on my personal page, when you go, it has just me. And in my banner, I tell you who I am and what I do. So your banner should tell people something about you that relates to your business. It should not be some random photo. It should definitely not be a photo of you doing something that is ridiculous, right? I've gone to somebody's page and they were smoking. Now, unless you're selling <laughs> hookah products or something like that, I don't know why I need to see you smoking on your profile picture or your um, cover, right? So make those things related to who you are in business. So my profile picture is very clean and very, um, you know, like very clear. And then this tells you I'm the 100K challenge chick and I'm here to help you break the 100K income ceiling in your business. And I give you an action point and I tell them what I want them to do. Join my group. So you need to be more intentional about how your profile page is even set up so that people understand what they're getting from you. So the very first thing it tells you, I went to that I'm an owner, that I own my business, and that's the link to my business page. Then it tells you that I went to this certain high school that I studied psychology. It tells you my college. I don't tell you that I have two degrees. I just tell you that that's what I study. Fine. And then I'm from Washington, D.C. People often want to relate to you regionally, locally, whatever it is. And then that I'm married. So I put that because guys were blowing up my DM, proposing and being ridiculous. And I'm like, it's on my page. I'm married. Please stop <laughs> harassing me. Um, and then it also says when I joined Facebook. I don't know that you can take that off, but I wanted to leave it because it shows that I have been here for quite a long time. So you also don't think that I'm a spam account, right? And then immediately after that, so if you pull this up on your phone and scroll even a little bit, you will start to see all of my links in bio. I use Linktree. Um, there's a free account for Linktree and you set that up and you put all the links that you want your clients to see in that one place. That way you have one link in bio, they click it and they can see all the options in one place. I do suggest you clean that up often. So don't tell me about a workshop that you did last year or something that I can no longer join. Make sure you go in and update your link tree, but your bio and what people find after they are communicating with you is so important to them developing a like and trust relationship with you for them to continue and to buy. Okay. So the biggest thing that you need to ask yourself is what are you using your social media for? 
Are you using it just to be social with your family and friends and you're having a good old time? Or are you using it to build a business? Because if you're using it to build a business, then you absolutely need to take this advice and clean up your profile. Clean up the place that people are going to find you in conversation and then click back to see what you are about. That needs to communicate who you are in business, what you can do for them, and how they can connect with you. That's really all they care about. All the other stuff is extra, right? I coach women, so I am fine to leave up that I'm married, I have degrees, and I am from Washington, D.C., right? So it gives you some foundation to start conversation with me or for me to continue conversation with you. However, they don't need to know what middle school I went to, how many degrees. I, they don't need to know all that. They don't even need to know all the different jobs I've had because I'm now here as a business owner. There's even other businesses that I own that because I don't want the confusion, I don't put it there. So be really, really clear that when they click through to your profile, the thing that they're going to find is consistency. You're undermining your entire brand if they go to your page and they see this whole other crazy person and you're there trying to be a inspirational leader, a motivator, a spiritual coach, business coach, finance. You're doing all these wonderful things and you're talking to people and you hope that they just stay in that conversation. But what I'm telling you is true. And I know you even do it. When you're talking to people, they click back to see who you are in real life, right? So you need to control that. You need to make sure it's consistent, that it continues your brand, that it is clear about your messaging. So they need to know who you are and what you can do for them. And then you need to make sure that it's consistent with your brand. So Things that would be off brand for me is if I posted a ton of pictures of me like drinking or just doing a bunch of crazy stuff because I also share that I'm a very spiritual person or I'm a mom and I, you know, and not to say moms can't have a glass of wine, but that just does, it's not consistent with who I say I am on a regular basis. So think about things like that too. What are you posting? Does this help someone make a decision to trust and like you? Are you being consistent in all places that you are on social media? The other um, thing that one person brought up is they don't really pay attention to their personal page. They pay attention to their business page, which is fine. However, the, your clients are going to still look at your personal page if it is public. The other thing that this person was saying was, oh, yeah, my personal page is there, but my, um, you know, people tag me and post. So, you know, it's just a bunch of random things. Don't allow people to do that. If you can't tell the person, hey, stop tagging me and things. Um, I have friends who tag me in their entertainment posts. They're advertising something for a club and they tag my personal page. I will ask you to not do it. I will remove myself from the tag. If you continue doing it, I just block you. Like I don't need that person showing up on my page or you can possibly put parameters in that say people can't instantly post to your page. But take more control of your social media presence. OK, so don't undermine yourself. You're here going live constantly, creating all these social media posts. But then once the person clicks through on your name and go back to your page, you're just losing everything that you've built. So don't do that. Be more conscious of the image, the brand, um, the messaging and being consistent across all channels. So don't at all neglect your personal profile. It is important. Um, it is what clients are going to use. So your business page and your personal page are unfortunately at this point for business. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. It was definitely helpful. We got into much deeper conversation in the 100K Society yesterday, but I thought this was a really helpful topic because 
this Saturday, we have a workshop coming up talking about attracting your ideal client. So the thing I did not want at all is for me to train my clients on attracting new people to their business and they didn't even clean up their Facebook profile. So that's why we started that conversation today. I gave them a few things to kind of do on their checklist. I gave them some pointers and they'll be all ready and set for this Saturday for our workshop on attracting your ideal client. If you're interested in attending the workshop, I don't have a problem inviting you. Just put in the comments interested or, you know, need, that you need help building your audience. And I will um, book a time to talk to you so that we can see if this is a good fit and get you all set up for Saturday. So thank you guys for joining me for this win the day. And you are now not going to be in that group of people that just sabotage themselves, but you're going to be set up for success. You're going to make sure that your messaging and um, your brand is consistent all the way across all your social media platforms. So for that, kudos to you. I'm proud of you guys. Make sure that you are um, outside of cleaning up your profile, staying on top of your social media messaging. So thanks for joining me. This is Win the Day. I'm Tanika D'Souza, and I will be with you guys every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Talk soon. Bye.